Hey guys, what is going on and welcome back to another episode of our Road to Glory career mode. This is episode number 20 and we start today's episode off by hiring another youth scout. Yes, I have said over the past few episodes I will be getting another youth scout for St. Pauli. We've got just under £4 million in our budget and because of that, we have enough money to hire the best youth scout you can buy. Five star experience and five star judgment as well and we'll still have around 500 grand in our kitty as well. So I thought about possibly signing the Austrian one that was four star, four star. But then I thought, do you know what? Youth players are going to be quite heavily featured in this career mode. So why not get the best youth scout we can get? I've hired another youth scout. And of course, as per usual, you guys can pick what nation we scout next as you are my head of youth development. So in the top right of your screen, just like in the last episode, there'll be a little, I think it's like an eye icon, like an information icon that you can click and uh, or tap if you're on mobile or tablet. And and, uh, and you can vote for what nation we decide to scout next. There's only five options you can choose in the poll uh, because unfortunately you can't add more than that in YouTube polls, but I think they're a lot easier to do than straw polls. So yeah, in the top right of your screen right now, click or tap on the little button and you can vote what nation we scout next as you're my head of youth development and you guys need to let me know what nation we should go and visit next. And also as well, guys, uh, it's Saturday morning today, so if you'd like another episode of Career Mode later on tonight, uh, I'll do a double episode upload for you, which will feature a big game against Bayern and a game against Wolfsburg as well. Then get this video to, let's go something crazy, 1,234 likes, and I'll upload another episode of Career Mode later on tonight. But still, for the first game of today's episode here, we will take on Eintracht Frankfurt here at the Millen Tour, coming on the back of our crazy 2-2 draw away at the Allianz Arena against 1860 Munich. We beat Hamburg, our rivals, in our last game at home, but sadly we did not get off to a good start in this game. We may have had the first chance of the match, but as you can see, Ika Casillas was beaten here in the first half by the number 17 as Frankfurt took the lead just 21 minutes in, in a first half where we had really struggled. And of course, last season, as you all know, we were unbeaten at the Millen Tour. It was one of the big reasons why we won the title and gained promotion in our first season here in Hamburg. But this season already, we've lost our home uh, home unbeaten record, the Fortress of the Millen Tour. We've already lost to British Mention Gladbach and in this game we were trailing at the break as well and in the second half things just didn't really seem to look as though they were going to get any better. Just two minutes after the restart, Schicciaretti hit the bar twice in the space of about three or four seconds there. First cannon to strike off the crossbar and in the second attempt was a header which looped onto the bar as well before Buhadus put the ball wide. It was still 1-0 to Frankfurt and the fact of the matter is we just weren't playing very well in this game. We may not have got the luck but our defense was really really poor and what Casillas was doing at this moment I don't really know 16 minutes before the end of the game Frankfurt doubled their lead and would wrap up the points as well for a rebound goal and to start this season off we've not really had that much luck you guys know that already two own goals this season this was one of those games where things just didn't really seem to fall in our favor you know we didn't really get the rubber to green the way our way the way our way the way we wanted it to and uh, unfortunately we lost the game by two goals to nil so already this season we've lost two games at the Millen Tour and it's absolutely crazy when you think about it. You know, last season, not a single loss at home already this year. We're not even 10 games into the season. We've lost twice at the Millen Tour. The, the fortress has been breached. You know, that's just how it is. That's just the fact of the matter of things right now. We, we, we play at home unlike we did last year, thinking we're always going to be favourites regardless of the opposition. Now when we play at home, it's just as much of an uncertainty as playing away. We've lost as many games at home this season as we've lost on the road. So, it's it's a real shame because you know we, we had such a great season last year in this vital Bundesliga we felt so confident playing at home now that record is gone we've really struggled to begin season two we've only had two wins in our first few games in the Bundesliga we have got to sort things out because right now I mean let's just say this there's there's a very good chance in our first season in the top flight we could be set for a relegation battle come the end of the season and touch wood will sort our form out but right now it's not looking too positive still for the second of three games today we will take on Fortuna Dusseldorf away from home in the Deutsche Pokal where Adolfo Hara, otherwise known as El Toro, the bull as you guys decided by the poll, uh, will be starting up top in a completely changed first 11. Of course the Deutsche Pokal, like any cup competition in my careers, is going to be a competition we don't really care too much about. It's a competition for the bench players, the resis, the youngsters to get some first team football and see what they can do. We're far more focused on the league. However, it was really good to see Christopher Butchman on the pitch for the first 
first time since his seven month injury he would start this game after a really long layoff and we started this game really strong as well we had the first couple of chances of the game the first one being saved and then that header from the corner going over the bar and with Fortuna Dusseldorf being a Zweiter Bundesliga side we were certainly fancying our chances despite being away from home we had a really good beginning to this game and El Toro was so close to scoring his first goal for the club as well heading this cross just wide the post and behind for a goal kick but with three minutes to go before the break we were looking for that breakthrough and when Kai took it round his man here after a lovely little step over he played through Rodolfo I tried to round the goalkeeper couldn't do so but it dropped straight to Kekuta Mane who scored his first goal of the season and what a lovely finish it was as well took his time finessed the ball past the goalkeeper and also passed the man on the line to make it 1-0 to the visitors and we had the breakthrough just before the break so lovely little finish there by Mane who this season you know I've got to say it, it's a really sort of like coming of age season for him last season didn't do too well in his first season here in Germany but I do believe this year he could be a lot better a player and show us all what he's all about so 1-0 to St. Pauli but in the second half there weren't really too many chances the host had done basically nothing all game long Rodolfo almost got a lovely assist here rolling the ball through towards Sabota our Polish winger off the bench but the goalkeeper made a really smart save and eventually it was cleared but it was how the game would finish final score Dusseldorf off nil St. Pauli won and we get ourselves the victory and we are through to the round of 16 stage of the Deutsche Pokal. Once again the board said they would just want to reach the round of 32 stage we enter that by default so <laughs> we can't really fail that objective which is great and uh, and yeah we're through to the next round and, and that's great and the host didn't even take a single shot in the game FIFA 17 so yeah delighted to be going through and, and to be honest the best way of describing that win to me was that you know, I'm, I'm sitting there thinking, the Deutsche Pokal, like I said before at the start of the game, we don't really care that much about it. But this season, if we are going to struggle in the league, it could prove to be a welcome distraction. You know, that's the phrase that a lot of managers use uh, for clubs that are struggling in the league but doing quite well in the cup. It's a welcome distraction because when you're not performing well domestically in the league, you, you know, you had the fans on your back. You, you just don't really feel confident going into the games. But in the cup, it's it's uncertain. Do you know what I mean? There's, there's form in league, but in cup, it, it's always a complete uncertainty so if we can have a good cup run this year whilst I'm not really that fussed about it my main focus is staying in the league in the Bundesliga with St. Pauli and hoping to finish in mid table you know if we are going to be struggling if we can play well in the cup it will be that welcome distraction that we'll so sorely need this year so glad to be going through and uh, and again you never know a good cup run this year could be quite fun but still for the third and final game of today's episode here we will take on Hoffenheim away from home who currently right now are playing quite well in the league in real life but in the game haven't started off too well but with us only picking up two wins in our first eight league games and none on the road neither have we so coming into the game I felt we really need to respond in this game after our last league defeat against Frankfurt and of course as our home form is not going to be as good as it was last year we need to make sure that we do play better away from home this season if we are to have any chance of at least finishing in mid table and what a start to the game as well because we had the first chance with Victor Andrade firing a shot wide but in the eighth minute after we won the ball back from the goal kick Moses Odger, the engine, played a lovely through ball towards Victor Andrade, who bared down on goal, went for goal, and found the back of the net with that weaker left foot to get his second goal of the season so far. And I must say, I'm I'm really liking this guy. You know, I really, really am. He played well against me last year of 1860 in uh, in the game at the Allianz Arena, scored that fabulous goal, and he started off strong this year as well. Already two goals for the season, looking like a great acquisition. So 1-0 to the visitors. We had the lead on the road, and I was delighted to to see that because I think that's the first time this season we've been winning a game away from home but just before the break you had a great chance to double our lead as well Justin Kluivert played through Cicciaretti the Italian who so far is yet to score this season but that is now going to be dropped as he makes it Hoffenheim nil St. Pauli 2 and does get off the mark for his new side and doubles our advantage just before the break with a lovely little goal a quick little Ronaldo chop into a heel to heel flick and a great finish with that left foot I've bought him to do this exact thing cut in from the right and shoot with that left a really really great finish and I must say I was super excited for this guy when he signed he's got some really really good stats but he sort of let me down a little bit hasn't really done that much for us no uh, no goals or assists so far until now but a great little finish there does get his first goal for the club and it was a great strike as well across the goalkeeper's body into the back of the net and we led by two going into half time so what a fantastic first half it went according to plan we had our two goal cushion I crave so much and we were leading 
by a two goal to nil scoreline. De Hood then hit the post seven minutes after the restart, trying to get the host back in the game. As you can see, Moses here was pulling the strings in this game. I mean, a great game, the engine, as per normal, as we still led by two goals. And just before the end of the game, we had a great chance to seal the points in the game where Hoffenheim hadn't really done that much. David Villa found a man here down the left-hand side who still only scored one competitive goal for St. Pauli all season long. He played it back inside towards David Villa, our player of the season so far, but his strike was well saved by the goalkeeper, turned behind for a corner. But from that corner, David Villa had a chance to show exactly why he has been our player of the season so far, because it's not just for him scoring goals, it's for him setting them up as well, and primarily from corners. I, I can't believe this, but David Villa is a corner specialist as he gets another assist from one here as we make it Hoffenheim nil, St. Pauli free, wrap up the points in style and the guy that scored the goal was your signing from season one, Matthias De Litt. And De Litt right now, if you can believe this, is our joint highest scorer with two goals. So Hoffenheim nil, St. Pauli free and it really is great to know that as we collect our first away win this season here as well in the league, delighted with that and back to back wins in all competitions as well for the first time this season, equally delighted with that too. But it's really great to know that right now, Buhadus, who's only scored two goals this season, he he may not be carrying the load like he was last season in terms of being the guy that puts the ball in the back of the net, but the goals are coming from other positions on the pitch. Last season, Buhadus had the lion's share of the goals, won the golden boot in the Zweite Bundesliga. This year, we're getting goals from all over the pitch, and that's really, really important. And when your centre-back is your joint highest scorers, you can look at it one of two ways. One, that we're not scoring enough goals, or that right now, we are scoring enough goals, but they're coming from all over the pitch. And since we're the league's highest scorers right now, it's clearly the latter. So the lit made it 3-0. We won the game. And, and what a win as well. Hoffenheim nil, St. Pauli 3. That was an amazing result. I mean, seriously, the way Hoffenheim started off, not too well for us yet to win on the road. We've now finally got that uh, first uh, elusive victory away from home. And, and that is just fantastic. Because, again, as I mentioned earlier, if we're not going to have the Milan Tour as a fortress this season like it was last year, we have to play better away from home. Simple as that. We need to win on the road. Otherwise, we won't stay in this division so a big big win there and uh, a big pressure relieving victory as well but uh, still following the game as you could see a uh, an academy update uh, there as well as another uh, scouting update came in as well uh, Daniel Roth that left back looks fantastic doesn't he he looks really really good I did say I think it's the last episode I might operate him as a defensive wide midfielder when I promote him I'm very excited for that guy but uh, also look at the squad report as well and you can see how the players are currently getting on right now of course there are a couple of players still to Increasing in stats such as Ika Casillas and David Villa as well. But right now, there's a lot of healthy attribute changes for a lot of players. Moses Odger is up to a 77. The engine is driving this team forward and continuing to get better and better. Shicharetti already up to a 78. Andrade 76. Clive at 74. The new signings looking pretty good right now. And I must say, despite a pretty rough start to the season, it's it's not all bad because we are still the league's highest scorers. I said I want us to be league's highest scorers every single season. And we're not doing as bad as we possibly could have done. Those last two wins in all competitions, big, big victories. And hopefully, we start getting our form sorted. But that will end today's episode of the Road to Glory career mode, guys. So a big thank you for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy the episode, then please do leave a like. And don't forget, 1,234 likes. And I'll upload the next episode of our Road to Glory career mode later on tonight, which will feature two massive games against second and third place, Bayern Munich away at the Allianz Arena and Wolfsburg at home. Hope to see you for that episode later on tonight. Tonight.